I forget that we need to put root. Okay, and there's root and uh, yeah, that's it, root. So let me come back here and try again. Oh, there we go. So we have an image right there. And so if I go back and click on a different image, let's say this one, I do get it there. Very, very nice. And there's a search bar here as well, which is completely unnecessary. So you can style this uh, as you wish. And then this down here, uh, we will not we will not need to show this. We can just uh, get get some random. Uh, okay, let me go back here just to load images here. So get single result. I'm going to the. I'm looking for the controller. Okay, photo detail controller. This is the one right here. So here we can put some more results in here. So data image. And then here I can have one that says data random images. And get single, instead of get single image, get single image, we can do get images right here. Okay, so let me come back here. So you can construct uh, a different query according to what you your needs are. So get images. Okay, great. So now, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll have random images in there. And now we can just copy what's on the index page. So let me come here, index page, and this is the part right here, which loops. So let's go to photo detail. This is uh, views catalog. Okay, great. Where are all these things? Uh, clouds, skies, I don't see them. Oh, there we go, these are tags. So you, if you had tags and all that kind of thing, you can put them here, uh, no problem. And all these details that are required. But what I want is related photos here. So let's go down to related photos, which is here. And these are the related photos. Quite a number of them. So I want to remove all of these, except for the gallery and then paste here. So now we will have a loop here. So it's data random images. Let's see if we're going to see something. Ah, there we go. Uh -huh. But we need to get the thumbnail versions of them. So just like we did in here. I'll copy this from there. And go to load images. No, 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 no. Photo detail controller right here. So I'll paste that and random images here. So boom, 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 like so. That should work. Refresh. There we go. Okay. Very nice. So back to photos. Click on this one. There we go. Okay. So, so far, so good. And also, since now we know when we are actually accessing the single image, which is right here, get single image, right? 
we can add to its views so that uh, we can see some differences in the views here so that would be very easy to do and we do it right here like this so i'll get a query and then i'll run it let me copy this and paste it so i don't need this part oh maybe i do so i will say uh, since URL is here already, I don't need to repeat it here, but that's fine. So I'm going to say update images. And then I'm going to say set views is equal to views plus one. Where URL address is go URL address, just like that. So instead of read, it's write. And we don't need to return any data. So that's it. So let's see now that uh, the views are climbing. So let me click on this one. That should have had more. And you can see we have one view there. If I click it again, come back, we have two views. So the view count is working as easy as that. All right. So uh, on top of that, we have to add a login uh, page. So let's add a login page so that we can actually log in. So the first thing we'll do is create a sign up one, a sign up page. So I'm going to go down here at contact in the thing here i'm going to put login and sign up so easy does it let's go to our header and uh, no actually the footer right here i will duplicate this twice so i'm going to say login or sign up Login, sign up, great. So here are the links that will take us here are going to be uh, of course we need root and then uh, login and sign up. Okay. So if I uh, refresh here, there's login and there's sign up. So of course we need to sign up first before we can log in. Okay, so let's click on sign up. So there is no sign up uh, controller. So let's go to controllers and just create one. Save, sign up to PHP. And let's just copy one of these controllers and paste there. Great. Uh -huh. Okay. So then we'll change this to sign up index. So here as well, we'll read sign up page title sign up okay so i'm just going to copy this one where i was uh inside where is this views the uploader uh where is this let's upload image yeah this one right here so i'm going to copy New file, paste, and well, this one will be sign up.php. Save. Boom. So here on type, we're going to have email. Name email. Oh, 
for signing up required placeholder your email add your email address so let's try and see what will happen here and there we go so this is uh, the sign up page so of course we can uh, put a title here just like if we go to the index page let me remove the footer uh, pagination we don't need that no more header not for now okay so if i go to the index page here there are some parts that have uh, big so it's h2 so i'm going to copy that and go to sign up and put it here hoping that you do have the same styles there we go so sign up your email address and this is a uh, type password password required okay All right, since I still have the bootstrap thing open, I can still just copy it here and paste it here. It'll be much easier to start again. Let me go back, uh, sign up. Okay, so email address and password. Very good. Uh, I think here the label the checkbox is unnecessary what I need to do is repeat the password oh no need you can add all that on your own uh, time because we are running out of time here so 